even as we prepare to celebrate the feast of the ascension of Jesus, the church invites us through the reading of today and the days that follow to prepare our own hearts for this ascension. The gospel text of today is taken from chapter 14 of the gospel of John verses 27 to 31. And in these verses, the first thing which Jesus does is that he bequeaths a legacy to the disciples. And the legacy is the legacy of peace. And Jesus goes on to say, peace I bequeath you, my own peace I give you. He is giving his disciples a wholeness that he says the world cannot give. What kind of a satisfaction, what kind of a peace, what kind of a wholeness can the world give? The world can give a temporary kind of satisfaction and wholeness. We feel good about the externals that we have. We feel good about our accumulation. We feel good about the position that we have in society. We feel good about the external riches that we own. But then, when we look at our neighbor and find that they have more than us, we don't feel so good. And we want some more and some more and some more. And it goes on and becomes a vicious cycle, a vicious circle. The peace that the Lord can give is not a peace of the externals. The peace that the Lord gives is not a peace merely from poor from outside. It is a peace which is here within our heart. It is a peace which does not depend on possessions. It is a peace which does not depend on accumulations. It is a peace which is wholeness in every single area of my life. It is a wholeness which is psychological. It is a wholeness which is spiritual. It is a wholeness which is emotional and mental and a wholeness which is external, which stops at a particular time and says to myself, this is now enough. Let me share the excess with others. This is the peace which the Lord is giving us even today. And the world keeps offering us that temporary peace, keeps offering us that impermanent peace and unfortunately we are so taken in by the lure of this world that we keep giving in. The Lord is telling us as he prepares to ascend to the Father that if we open our minds and our hearts this peace, this wholeness which is wholeness in every sense of the word will be ours. Will we open our hearts and our minds today to receive this shalom, to receive this peace, to receive this wholeness which the Lord wants to give.